Yeah. Right, little Morris. Uh, one of my little favourites. We've sold loads of these retail. Loads and loads and loads. Um, uh, it's a little series one. Four-seater four convertible. It's a turret. Lovely little car. Again, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but beautiful restoration. The gentleman who owns it has, I think he said he's about 94 now, or thereabouts. He's, he's fair age, 84 maybe. He's a fair age. Only looks 50 like, you know. Just come sweeten him up a little bit. And, uh, but he's, um, he's gone to overseas, I can't remember where, but he's gone overseas um, to basically retire. So um, we picked this one up for him, and it's all filmed by Bangers and Cash. So it's a TV star car already. So it's gonna, gonna go out into an episode, whoever buys it, we very much hope that you know, they will allow the, the Bangers and Cash team to follow it through. We all know the format, everyone knows the format now. Um, uh, to see it, hey, maybe delivered, have a meet with, go down to where you live, have a chalk, get on camera, get it on TV and that. So it's all gonna be recorded in other words. So basically we've got a bangers and cash star car. That's what we're looking at for a start. Um, she's a series one, as you can see, the Danny Cone grill, uh, wire wheels. Now it went in to be restored about, I think either nine or 11 years ago. And it came out of that restoration about three weeks ago when we picked it up and the gentleman who owns it I've never really seen it all that period, he just left it. And the only time he drove it was the day we picked it up. He drove it around the village after a nine year, for argument's sake, um, spell in the restoration shop, and then walked away from it. It was just so weird. It was so spooky to see it happen. You know, you, in normal cases, you, you perhaps think, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ride, drive it for a month. You know, I'm just gonna have to use it a little bit. Just, just get some enjoyment out of my massive investment that I've put in it. I don't know what you spent. Well, I mean, a lot of money. I mean, look at it. Um, but he didn't. He just walked away from it. Straight, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, look, look at that. I mean, I, I'm not a great fan of of um, creamy leather, you know, replacement interior and such like. But but it does suit the car. Definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the, the side screen's there, as you can see. Um, but look, look at the quality. Look at the quality of the restoration on this car. I know. Look at the quality of it. Now, you know, we used to do that, but not many people do that. Mm. They just chuck them in the back, don't they, wherever it might be. But, and, and all the, this, all the side screen fittings, look, this is the quality of this car, this mm. restoration. Look at it, look. Superb, absolutely superb. I mean, a dead cert show winner. You know, I, I, no, not, not that we all want to go in and, and, and win shows and all the rest of it, but, but, but it is nice to actually drive a car that is appreciated so much that it, that it wins the shows wherever it goes. And let's face it, it, it is nice, you know. Yeah, Cars are only that. a fashion accessory, aren't they, after all said and done. But, so, what a restoration. Absolutely lovely. Look at the engine bay. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? There's a new back joint there. A little bit of weepage down there from the end casket, but nothing to talk about at all. He wouldn't bother doing it at all. But generally speaking, lovely presentation. Look at the bulkhead and all that. Really, really nice. Um, so we've got a, a mint interior, superb side screens and hood. Lovely paint job, perfect paint job, beautiful paint job. As good a paint job as you can expect on any pre war car. Uh, new tyres, still got the pimples on the tyres. Look, I've just driven it up the road, still got the pimples on the tyres. Um, what well, set of plugs? I just drove it up the road there, and it's like doo -doo -doo -doo, you're missing a bit there. Um, it didn't charge at first, but it is now. Um, whoever buys it, my advice to you, without question, first thing to do, go and buy a Series E four-speed gearbox and put in it, because they transform these cars. It's like putting a, a Type Nine five-speed gearbox in a something or else, MGTD. Transforms the car. Put a four-speed Series E gearbox in there. Go straight in because it's got a slightly noisy first gear. So you'll kill two birds with one stone. Um, not that you're worried about first gear, because you're only in first gear for me at that wall, aren't you? So that don't matter, but four, four speed gear, but put it in, my advice. Um, what else can I say? Beautiful raised, look at them lovely raised digit number plates, huh? You know, quality, quality. Probably a pork pie lines, as you can see there. But, you know, it's almost like a no expense spared restoration. You know, the, the tools I've just showed you. Look at the paint finish on here. You know, it's just lovely. It, everywhere you look, it's just absolutely lovely. Door shuts beautiful, but better than a Golf. Forget the Golf. VW, you want to come down here and have a look at this car, because <laughs> you, you know, you, you could perhaps get your cars shutting like that. <laughs> look at that, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that lovely, eh? Um, proper lamps. 
just, I can't say much more. Everywhere you look, it's just absolutely lovely. Underneath the same, superb. Good. Come and have a look.